hi it's Sarah welcome back and welcome if you are new I am so glad you're here joining me today in today's video I'm going to be decorating here in my dining room for spring I took down all my Easter decor I've had it up for over a month now so I feel like I've had plenty of time to enjoy it but I took it all down and now I just want to freshen up the space for the rest of spring I'm going to keep it pretty simple and add in a lot of neutral colors and a lot of greenery of florals and of course some candles to bring in some coziness I'm going for that cottage farmhouse look that I love and in the end I'm really happy with how this space turned out for those that have been here for a little while you may have noticed that I got a new rug for in here and I absolutely love it eventually we would love to put hardwood floors in here but for now we have to have a rug under the table because you know we have kids and that can just be a mess if we don't have a rug under here so we have gone through a few different rugs trying to find one that works in here but they always end up moving around or bunching up and we end up tripping over them but I came across this natural jute rug on Amazon and I thought I would just try it out and see how it works and I think I finally found the perfect rug for in here we have had it for a little while and it has not moved at all it is a little heavier than the other rugs that we have tried in here so I think that helps it stay in place more I also love the color of it and the way it looks under my white table I think it is so pretty and it really gives me the look that I'm going for it is not the softest rug so I wouldn't put it in the family room or something like that that you use a lot but under a table I think it works out great I'll make sure to link it down below in the description if you want to check it out all right so as usual I laid out all my decor that I'm planning on using to decorate with today here on my table I like to lay everything out so I can see everything and kind of get a plan in my head where I want to put everything at. I did shop my home first like I always do and then I did add a few new pieces as well that I will share with you but a lot of this stuff is stuff that I've had before. I will try my best to link everything down below in the description if I can so you can go and check out those links if you would like but I have some green right here. A lot of this is from Hobby Lobby, Amazon, and Target. Those flowers are from Walmart there and those topiary trees I have are from Amazon. That basket there in the back is a thrifted find that I found a few weeks ago and then I have these white canisters that I found at Target. Those gold taper candle holders are from Amazon. That white pitcher is from Amazon and then these two bowls that I have are also from Amazon. Those green plates are from a Dollar Tree and then that cloche is from Amazon as well. These are pretty white napkins are from Amazon and then that ivory lace table runner is also from Amazon. Mm -hmm. That wood cutting board there in the back is from Bell's Outlet and then I have this spring of meadow framed canvas print that I found on Amazon. I just think it's so pretty and then I just have that neutral wood frame and then I just have a few books that I covered with brown paper. That face back there in the back is from Amazon. These brown candle holders are from Amazon and then these flameless white flickering candles are also from Amazon. That brown house is from Amazon and then I have this pretty vintage frame print that is from Amazon and this wood doble candle is also from Amazon and then I have this brown wood chip basket that is from Walmart and then that rattan straw tote bag is from Amazon and then this wood home sign that says home my favorite place to be is from Bell's Outlet that I picked up a few years ago. As you can see I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. I live in a smaller town so Amazon is really my go-to for a lot of things including home decor. Alright you guys so this is everything I'm planning on to use to decorate with today. I hope you enjoy this video and maybe it gives you some sweet decorating ideas and inspiration for your home for spring. It slipped away 
over here on this bench I'm keeping everything the same I'm just going to turn around these pillows that I have these are from Walmart I picked up during Easter time my Texas house line I love that you can use either side of them so I'm just going to turn them around to this other side now they are perfect to use for the rest of springtime She comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. I'm loving how this turned out. I usually don't decorate the whole shelf up. I like to keep a little more simple, so I usually just try to decorate here in the middle. As you can see, I tried to use different layers and textures and different heights as well. But I know I'll have to try, try to let her go because she won't. I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I Over here on my fireplace mantle I'm going to keep it very simple with just a green garland on top of the mantle Keeping the clock as a main focus like she stole my heart without knowing she did but i guess that it will pass yeah i can't be the only one who got lost inside the blue of those eyes i've gotta let her go i know it won't be easy i wanna hold her
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming. I am just loving how this table turned out. I think it is so pretty. I love how simple it is and I especially love that pretty dainty table runner and the green plates to bring a little color over here. I love the twisted candles and that vintage looking face that has the green stems coming out of it. I am so happy with how this whole space came together. Long wall high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow them golden. Alright you guys, we are done decorating here in my dining room for spring and oh my goodness, I am so happy with how this space turned out. It gives me the cottage farmhouse vibes that I was going for in here and I just love each piece and how I used it. I think everything came together so nicely. I love how simple and neutral this looks. When summer comes, I'm going to be adding a little more color so I'm really just going to take this in and enjoy it as it is right now. Alright, let's take one more last look at everything to see how everything came together.
guys thank you so much for joining me today for another video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you stayed with me here until the end, I thank you so much. It really does help my channel out. Leave me a sunny emoji down below in the comments. I always love to see who sticks with me here until the end. Don't forget to come back. There will be tons more home decorating videos coming your way and you don't want to miss them. Thank you for your kind words, your support, and spending some of your time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Take care.